My name is David Markowitz. I'm a proud alumni of New Jersey NCSY and the NCSY Summer Kollel. Now I work for Asia Torah in New York as the Chief Operating Officer, engaging college students on campuses all across the New York, New Jersey area. You know, a few years ago, my son joined the Little League in Passaic, New Jersey. It wasn't the most exciting league after all, but for him it was a big deal. And his team was pretty terrible. Every week they would, they would lose. One week, his team was down by three runs, and after a quick rally, all of a sudden he gets up to bat, and there are three people on base. Base is loaded. He knows this is his big moment. He holds the bat with determination. He looks the pitcher in the eye. The pitcher throws the first pitch. He swings at the ball, and he totally misses. The next pitch comes in. He leans back. He reaches into that ball, and he kills the ball. The ball goes flying, and he goes running. He goes around first. He goes around second. He's cornering around third. And as he runs towards home, I'm waiting by home plate. He goes running across home plate and jumps into my arms. A grand slam home run. It's like a father's greatest moment in my whole life. And then that week, I'm telling everybody, you know, my son, he hit a grand slam home run. They're like, wow, that's so cool. I'm like, I know, I'm the greatest dad ever. Well, I kept doing this every day, every week. He would say, Tati, come on, tell them about the Grand Slam, tell them about the Grand Slam. And I would tell and I would boast and it was amazing. As the week came to an end, I found myself thinking, when's the next Grand Slam going to come? When's going to be the next time that I get that high, that feeling of excitement, of happiness? You know, we spend so much of our lives running after those moments, those fleeting few moments of our lives when we feel truly happy. That's really what we want in life. It's what we want for our children. It's what we want for ourselves. We just want to be happy. And then the Torah comes along and tells us that for seven days straight, we should be happy. Sukkot has an obligation for every single moment to be happy. Is that even possible? Is it possible that we could be happy? For most of my life, I thought, no. And Rav Noach Weinberg Zetzel, he taught us, he was the Rosh Hashiva of Eshet Torah. And he had these insights, these kind of tips and tools and tricks. And he said, let me tell you the secret of happiness. Happiness is when you focus on what you have and you don't take any pain in that which you don't. If you can totally focus on the greatness, all the blessings, and the wonderful things that you have, you'll feel unbelievable joy and happiness. And in the moments when we focus on that which we don't have, we think about how much is lacking in our lives, those are the moments when we really feel quite sad. And Judaism has this amazing structure, this amazing system that allows us to really focus on that which we have. We wake up every morning, we say, Modeani. Thank you, God. I recognize I have life, and that is really good. Then I go into my morning blessings, and I start with thinking, wow, I can think, I have eyes, I have clothing, I can stand, I can walk. By the time I walk into synagogue or morning prayers, I'm dancing through the streets. It's unbelievable how many gifts, how much unbelievable things I have in my life. That's what Judaism allows us to do. It helps us to focus on that which we have. But Sukkot is a full week. How can we really do that? So Rav Noach gives us one more tip. He says, try and develop for yourself a five-finger anchor. Five-finger anchors allow you to focus on the five things that you are most appreciative for. For me, one night it hit me. I was putting my kids to bed. I had put one kid to bed and then the other two kids, and then I put my oldest son to bed. And as I closed his door, I was holding the door handle with my hand, and I became overwhelmed with this sense of appreciation, how much I have, how many gifts I've been given, how blessed I am. I felt such deep happiness that I knew holding that handle, 
That was my anchor. And whatever may come my way, any challenges, any hardships, any stress, any difficulty, all I need to do is think about my five finger anchor. The five things I am most appreciative for. My five beautiful children. Or my health. Or my family. Or my blessed life as a Jewish person. May we all have a Chag Kasher Vesameach.